Previously on the Six Gaming Podcast. That's right, everybody. Welcome to this week's edition of the Six Gaming Podcast. I am your host, as always, Shosan. With me, of course, is not Shosan. Why don't you say hi? I'm also not the dancer. Shame. I need this to pee. Me. We Bad should diving. have taken care of this beforehand, <laughs> maybe. I want a cookie. No. Oh, my God. I'll pull this van over. Someone make child. I need to go somewhere. Quick, deliver food to his house now. Right, Gosh, someone, please. That. All of it. All the food. <laughs> hey, what's up? It's Ben. Sadly, show's a little dehydrated, so we're drinking water. That's water like that's water. In, given, what do you call this? This know. weird little juice stuff. So, Golden yeah. Bear. Slightly discolored. We won't that's, go into that. That's a random person's piss. <laughs> oh, what? Show's drinking urine. Yeah. Yep. That's how we do this podcast, damn it. If it's not beer, it's urine. This, 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 this podcast just took a very disturbing direction. Oh, it's the best Pax direction. Is, uh, the Penny Arcade Expo, which is a big... Uh, I think what the original one was out in Cali, right? In like yeah. San Francisco. And they created a PAX East for the people who didn't want to trek across the whole country to go to And PAX. it's definitely evolved very much into, like you said, geek life. It's kind of a Comic-Con mixed with, um, you know, name your gaming. So if Expo. you guys haven't gotten your tickets, shame Tough on you. Shit. You're, you're out shame of on you. Or do, it, right. or do what my one friend did one year and sneak in during a Comic-Con and use a uh, two-person uh, costume and get in that way. Yeah, you could do that. Wow. That would work. Hey, as soon as they found out, they both got kicked out and banned for life. I'm kind of amazed that this hasn't <laughs> something like this hasn't come to the U.S. yet. There's no product placement. But Japan is anything. Japan. I mean, this is Hong yeah. Kong, not Japan. Well, well this is I'm Hong Kong, Kong, not even Japan. Yeah. Good job with your racial stereotyping there, Pen. I wasn't listening, <laughs> and all I heard was that Tom it was Rod, I don't think we go similar people. Wow. I mean, uh, the tabletop. Was just saying something about Xbox. not being racist. I was being racist on purpose. Oh, that's way better. Uh, that makes it so much better. <laughs> right? So oh, basically, Lord. it's like every 14 year old gamer's bedroom. Yeah, it, oh, yeah, pretty much. That's pretty that's much exactly it. Exactly what it looks like. And what my wife won't let me do in mine. <laughs> <laughs> what you do in your bedroom with your wife is your if own. If it's temporary, business. that means that Xbox Lives is, what, 60 bucks <laughs> a year? Yes. Yeah, something like that. <clears throat> okay, PlayStation 4 is 50 bucks year round. Yeah. Which is, you so know. Ten bucks. Yeah, ten bucks is a that's a that's a meal right there that I could be having. Well, one we meal know. for three hundred and sixty-five days. <laughs> Shut up, Ron. No one's right. asking you. You would very quickly become the smallest man on the podcast. It's a really large happen. list, so um, definitely if you have it's a beta, than me. go check it out. It really probably is larger than veg. So, uh, yeah, no. <laughs> Sony Japan <laughs> loses the names of the winners for the 20th anniversary contest, and it restarts <laughs> the whole damn thing. Sony just has a track record of being absolutely terrible with anything with data. related to computers. Oh, like, yeah. Right. To if, data. We got a couple on screen. Look at that. Aw. Aw. Slap him upside uh, the head for me. Hard. Slap me upside the head. No. That no, come like, on! <laughs> we're, we're very Smack upset. Her. Oh, Smack him. Oh, she's not mad at him. That's Damn. a problem. Yeah. No, I did <laughs> good. I mean, it'll that. definitely mean your top of the boards are not. So. Yeah. Well, I'm, well, I'm a mountain, so I'm on top of that. <sighs> You're on top of everything. Oh, there you go. Actually, he's under so, everything because gravity all goes. To I the call this the social media patch. <laughs> right. The selfie stick and patch. Prestige of Orgrimmar went went for 14 months, which is yep. crazy to think about. I mean, we're on one raid for 14 months. That so they said they learned their mistakes. They don't want to go so long without new raids, and they're saying, well, Blackrock launched not long ago. So they're saying the last raid, they'll keep putting in new raids until they get to the new expansion. So that's, that's somewhat different. But they're saying they promised all this stuff for Warlords. We got no races, no classes, no battlegrounds, no capital cities, no profession. The existing professions were basically gutted. Tenon Jungle pushed back to 6.2. Bat Black Rafani pushed back from launch. That's just, this just says here that Farallon actually got cut. Is, it, is that yeah. not going to be a thing at all, this X-Pac? Uh, I guess not. That's Atran a for PvPers is awful. 
Burning Crusade had 15 dungeons and 5 raids. Wrath. 12 dungeons, 4 raids. Kata, 9 dungeons, 4 raids. Miss, 9 dungeons, and then Mogushan, Heart of Fear, and Terrace all came out within a month of launch. Warlords, 8 dungeons, 1 raid, another raid released 3 months after launch. But still, I mean, that was 2 full raid tiers. It's it's Kazaran, and Serpent Shrine, and Tempest Keep. Karazan. Whatever. (laughs) <laughs> you know that the colorblind yeah. update was amazing that was really good you guys I can actually see the game really well now like really clear snozzberries yes. taste like snozzberries Blizzard actually got something right for once right Say. off the get go mm-hmm. hey, yeah, you, you know what it's kind of funny because you say that like they never do but well, the whole thing about Blizzard used to be they don't release it until they get it right it wasn't as broken as like say uh, the new SimCity well, no, oh, yeah. <laughs> that's true. God, I Granted, remember my friend just sitting there, sitting there at home, staring at her laptop, staring at these graphs, waiting for one of them to go red or something before she had to go in and make a phone call to someone. And keep in mind that she's a, a product manager. She had nothing to do with any of the technical stuff. Yet there she was watching those technical graphs, and everybody in the company was doing something similar to that 24 hours a day for like a month. I really hope that they do something. Big with 6.2. That's all they I better. got. Yeah. Dan's got the face palm. Sorry, I've never gotten to do that before. Yeah, that's, that's good. Jazz hands. Necessary. Hold, hold on, I think it's my <laughs> turn here. <sighs> Fudge. Fudge. Why? Jazz hands. <laughs> all right. I'm no. not doing it. I'm not let's doing it. Let's talk League of Legends. And oh. let's talk about Fudge finally losing. Veg finally losing this one. After like a 15 winning game streak. Oddly enough. We don't know how that happened. Streak. Four. It was closer to No, four. I'm comparing it to last year's too. I don't care about last year. This is a new season. You know, it's got to be nerves. I mean, come on. I would be too. Especially playing in front of that audience. Show? Yeah. I would be impressed if you could play. Hey, 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 hey. You I've can't play when he's not in the audience. I've gotten decent on Jinx. I say decent. Decent for a noob. Decent for a noob. I'm decent getting better. Decent for a noob, which means 2-17-5. and five. Big show, this guy. Um, just started playing the healer again. I'm off spec healing. Oh, God. No, no. Oh, God. Make it stop. Help, I'm on fire. I'm on fire. I'm dying. <laughs> yeah, he'd, he'd pee you out. Oh, my God. Yeah. He's like doing dumpster over there. Back, but oh, since he always drinks so much, his piss is like freaking vodka, and he just sets you more ablaze. Oh god! And then he, then somehow he set himself on fire, and that's how the raid wipes. <laughs> haters, <laughs> yeah, all of like, you haters. It sounds like Ice Crown Citadel. Hey, I, was, <laughs> okay, I didn't do any healing in ICC. <laughs> Liar. And, I, I actually did a ton of healing in ICC. I can't lie about that. Too much healing. Well, actually, no, you didn't do a ton of healing. Yeah, anyway, no problem. Uh, home run, I'll love you forever. <laughs> I'll, do, I'll do what I do to cause to you. Whoa, no, okay. Whoa. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I might have to step away if this and gets any worse. That's another reason I like yeah. GOG. They're very cheap when it comes to those games. Um, another thing is that they're DRM-free, unlike Steam, where you don't have to be logged into a certain program. Yeah, he's wondering what I'm doing. Oh, buddy. So I question we. that, too. Yeah. I don't know what I'm doing, either. FYI, there is friendly fire in this game. Yeah, I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> Blow up my own people so, all day. Back in uh, February 28th, 1995, Parallax Software released Descent, Descent. 1. Ooh, Descent. 20 yeah, years yeah. ago today. The sound of those just plain, kind of tan guys from the first level. It's just, like, in my head. If you ever yep. started out on the old tabletop, then you would definitely know how deep that story goes. So Deep in the feels. Grand Theft Auto, for example. There is something about that game I've yet to put my finger on it that draws me back. Mass murder and explosions. I, I mean, you know, maybe it is. Maybe it's, it's just that gleeful joy of going on a rampage. God, we have criminals on this podcast. I, don't, I hated being Squall. I hated being Squall. <laughs> Yeah. Because he was just a shitty person in a shitty game. Well, he <laughs> was. He's he the Jar Jar Binks of Final Fantasy. You can do whatever you want in them, as long as you know you are successful in that game. You can murder, well, except for murdering your people. You can still do that. You can still murder people. 
But <laughs> that just it, loves murdering people. That's what it yeah. comes. No, to. actually, it it, it actually uh, it yes, actually punishes you. Yep, actually, well, I, I know it might punish you, but it that doesn't stop you from loving. I say, what do you think about Margaret Robbie? Oh, Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Come, on. come back to come back to reality. Okay, sorry, I'm back. <laughs> All right, yeah, I didn't want to go there because it's really depressing, you guys. But um, gotta mention it. Yeah, Leonard Neep. Boy has passed away at 83. Well, don't let uh, actors and you know famous people be role models to you. Like, don't let them. But for him, yes, be, because he inspired to be the best that he could be in an individual. He was the nicest person you could meet, yep. and he did everything in his power to help anybody he could. Yeah, you know that's someone yeah. you want to aspire to be. George Takei is still alive, um, and he's a brilliant fighter for equal rights and everything else. And that's I think okay to be Takei. Great. Yeah, it is. Nimoy had obstructive uh, pulmonary stuff from smoking oh, for 30 years. Stuff. Yeah. <laughs> technical terms, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, right, yeah. very technical medical pulmonary terms. Disease. Wait, aren't anyway, you supposed to be a bioengineer? Yeah, but I'm not, I'm not, I'm not a doctor. Stuff. <laughs> right? Not a doctor, Jim. Damn it, Jim, I'm uh, a yeah. doctor, not a... Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Live long and prosper. Join us every Saturday at 11 p.m. Eastern, 8 p.m. Pacific for the all-new Six Gaming Podcast right here on YouTube.